Hey guys, um, I'm, I'm, today I'm gonna be talking about my field trips, like, what I did, like, what, what hap what's happening in my field trips, because I, I had one today, I didn't have one yesterday, I, yesterday I had field day, I had a field trip on Tuesday, I had one last Wednesday, I, I had one last Wednesday, I didn't have one, I didn't have one on Monday, because Monday was Memorial Day, so I had the day off. On Sunday, I made three song covers, so, yeah. So, the first one, the first one that I went on, it was about, like, we went on a boat ride. We got taught how to, how to control a boat and stuff like that. And we were, we were taught how to make, like, a, how to make rope, how to cut wood. And that that was my field trip. Uh, on Tuesday's field trip, we went to Sturbridge Village. We learned about all the stuff that, like, blacksmiths, silversmiths, all stuff like that. Like, all stuff from the olden days, like the 1800s. Just like in Minecraft. The, like, uh, uh, comparison, uh, comparing it to Minecraft, because Minecraft ha is, like, from the olden days. Like, Minecraft is, like, stuff from, like, I don't know, like, the 1800s, because they have, like, blacksmiths, they have fishers, toolsmiths, armors, they have librarians, they have preachers, all stuff like that. They have farmers, and they have anvils, lit, and they have all old stuff, like crafting tables, like furnaces. Right now, we have, yeah, but in, like, in the, in the, in the days right now, we actually have... We have, we actually have stoves, refrigerators, freezers. We all have stuff like that. So I really learned a lot from that trip. Be it's like and it's it's a comparison to Minecraft because that's like the it's like a game that shows like stuff from the olden days. So on um on Wednesday was field day, so we did all we um for field day like the the thing that. Like, the thing was about the Olympics, because th this year is Olympic year, so, um, we were doing stuff all Olympic, like, like, volleyball, soccer, no, not soccer, football, basketball, actually soccer, there's, like, an obstacle course, we made, like, our team flags and got tattoos, it was fun, a little, it was kind of fun. Today, we, um, and the last thing I'm gonna talk about Today we went to a hike at Pete's Rock. It was really challenging to get up there. It was really, ch it was challenging because there were so many rocks, and um, it it took like it took about a half an hour to get up there and half an hour to get down. We can't, we I I everybody was like running ahead. Everybody was like running ahead of everybody. So. I had to wait for I had to wait for my dad because my dad was on the field trip with me. He was he was kind of like a he was kind of like a person that was um coming on the field trip, and um he was he was kind of like a chaperone. He he had my lunch, so I literally had to wait like twenty or twenty five minutes for her for him to come down the hill because um he was helping a lady that um. That I that one of my friends know, and um, it took a while. It took him like took him like I had to wait twenty five minutes for him to come down. So I was literally waiting twenty five minutes, really hungry. I was, it was terrible. And then on the way down, uh, uh everybody everybody was like, going ahead of us. I, I I was literally trying to catch up. Everybody was going ahead of us. I actually went on the way down. I nearly fell. I. I I nearly tripped and fell and broke something, uh, because a kid, one of the kid, one one of the kids that were running down actually like, w like a little pushed me a little bit and it nearly me knocked me down, and so, and <laughs> one of my friends, um, one of my friends ran into a mouse, and um, ran into a mouse and like. The mouse was like running around in circles, and the 
and then one of my friends stepped on it. <laughs> it's sad. One of them stepped on it, and it was, like, seizuring. It was seizuring. It was, like, moving like this. It was so sad. And then, then one of my friends put a rock on him. On the, on the, on the poor mouse. And then, um, put a rock on the poor mouse. It was so upsetting. And, um, <laughs> and then the mouse, it, it, it was still, it wasn't dead. It wasn't dead. It was still alive. It was still alive. Then it was still alive after that. I was like, take the rock off it. Take the rock off it. I want to see if it's alive. And then I saw it. I saw, I knew it was alive because the heart was beating. The heart was beating when I saw it, when I saw it. And, um, so, then everybody kept trying to pick it up by the tail. My friend was trying to put it in a bag and pick, pick it up by the tail and put it in a bag. And then someone noticed us. It was, um, one of my friend's dad. And, and they told us to put it down, put it down. And we did, we just left it there on the rock. It was so upsetting. It was upsetting because it, the, the poor little mouse. And, and then after a couple of minutes and after an hour, after like 30 minutes, after a half an hour, like the, they saw the mouse. It was seizuring again. It was seizuring again. And it, it was so weird. So it was basically trying to come back to life, but it what it, it couldn't it couldn't run it couldn't run away because it couldn't run away because it was too injured. I don't know if it's still alive or not. So my next my feel I have another field trip tomorrow. I had half a day because the field trip is kind of short because it was like a short it was like a short thing. It was like a short long. It wasn't really a long way to get up. So, I, I don't know why they put me did it a half a day. So I want to be leaving. I think in about an hour, and I'm gonna be leaving in an hour to um go to my cousin's house to make that video to make the videos. I actually I honestly can't wait. And so tomorrow I'm going to the science fair, which is kind of fun. It's like a Connecticut science fair. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna see there. I'm pretty sure. I think I think a bunch of science projects. Thinking that's what I'm thinking. Or just a bunch of what souvenirs or stuff. So I one thing you don't know about me, you might not know about me, is that I have a Musically account, and that my Musically name is Stardew Twelve. Because I'm 12 years old. Every year, every year, I turn, like, say if I turn, like, 13 or 14, I'm going to change it to start you 13 or start you 14. That's what I'm going to do. So every year, I'm going to change it. Every, every time I, every time it's my birthday. So, follow me on Musical.ly. My name is Stardew12. Like all my videos. Because I want to try and beat my cousin in this game. She is 10, she is 10, she is 10k. She has 10,000, I have 5,000. And she has 400 fans, I have two, I, I have close to 300. Hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Please follow me on Musical.ly, I'm desperate. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video, see you later, bye!